Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thanks for coming to this webinar, and uh, thanks uh, Testing Do for hosting this webinar. My name is Malin Wei, and I'm the technical support of Smart Solo. And today I will share some cases that are uh, conducted by our customers. And I have sub, uh, splitted these uh, cases into the following subtitles. And the first uh, oil and uh, gas engineer uh, case is from, it's called uh, Smart Solo Conquered. Uh, first case called uh, Smart Solo Conquered a Seismic Forbidden Area in China. And we call it a uh, forbidden area because uh, the terrain is really rough and dangerous here. And it brings a huge uh, operation difficulty for the crew. Uh, considering about this condition, uh, the crew uh, decide to use Smart Solo in this rough and uh, dangerous area because it is cable free and uh, use their old cable system in the flat area. And from these pictures, I think you can see how crazy is this place. And you, you will find a helicopter here because a helicopter is in charge of uh, transport uh, people to the unreachable positions. And even in this uh, rough and dangerous area, Smart Solo also guarantees very good uh, data recovery rate. You can see the design, the, zero points are uh, more than 150,000. Uh, we still give the data recovery rate more than 99.60%. And uh, here is the uh, combined uh, shot gather uh, with uh, Smart Solo and uh, cable system. And you will, you will see the data combined very well and no phase delays, no time delays. And the client estimated that the project would be taken more than 100 days, but the crew finished uh, this project in 60 days, which they can save more than 40 days costs. If, if you compare with the historical projects, the efficiency increased about 70%. Uh, and uh, the second case is from, uh, is in, from Australia. Uh, a new technology called um, compressive sensing is applied in this uh, project. Uh, compressive sensing will allow the crew to acquire very high dense data, but with uh, a small count of uh, devices. Uh, the, the source and the receiver, the source and receiver intervals are not uh, fixed. It's randomly from four to 16 meters in compressive sensing project. Uh, I, I said randomly, but actually it's calculated. Uh, if you use traditional reflection method, the source and the receiver interval usually fixed. And as you can see, if you use traditional method and you want um, eco dense, uh, eco high dense data, you will need three times more devices but uh, so that's how the compressive sensing can save your cost. And uh, Smart Solo gets very good feedback in the use as it's cable free and easy to deploy and have very good uh, data quality and high reliability, especially it's very flexible. So make it very suitable for compressive sensing technology and uh, other new maybe new technology in the future. And here's a, a stack section. And you can see here's the reflect the reflection interface very clearly. Uh, I know you may not interested about oil and uh, gas explorations, but what I want to say, what I want to express from these uh, cases is that uh, uh, the seismic uh, instrument has uh, technology has improved a lot in terms of efficiency, uh, cost saving, flexibility, and uh, data quality. And these features are also very important in engineering applications. Uh, 